So in the last video I showed you how I color correct my footage to achieve a really natural looking skin tone. Now I want to show you how to color grade without sacrificing that skin tone. So there's a pretty easy way to preserve your skin tones even if you have an intense color grade. And you can do this in any color editing software, but I'm going to be showing you inside of DaVinci Resolve. And if you're a hands-on learner, I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this footage and we can do this color grade together. So this clip has already been color corrected. That's what these four nodes are here. And we've achieved a pretty natural look both in skin tones and in white balance. So now we are ready to start our color grading. So I'm going to hit Alt S and create a new serial node. I'm just going to label this node grade. This is going to help us kind of keep things organized a little bit later on. So there's a couple different approaches with color grading that you can take. Um, you can apply a LUT, and that's sort of a shortcut to get to the color grade that you want. Um, and so there's some LUTs that I've created that I sell. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll just show you one of these for my Joker LUT pack. Um, so this LUT kind of changes. You can see kind of the darks and the whites are, are pushed towards kind of a bluish green look but the skin tones aren't affected very much. And that's essentially the look that we want to achieve, but you're not always gonna have a LUT to do that with. So I'm gonna show you how to do this without using LUTs. So to start this color grade, I'm gonna open up the color wheel tab in DaVinci, and I'm gonna use the offset, which affects everything in the image all at the same time. And I'm gonna pull that color wheel down towards kind of the greenish yellow. So I've pushed this further than you probably would for a, a normal color grade, but I just want to show you the power of this technique that I'm going to show you to preserve the skin tones. So what you can see here is the background's green, the lights are kind of greenish blue. The only thing I don't like is I think it pushes the skin tones a little too far in that direction, and I want to preserve some of the natural look of the skin tones. So this is a super easy fix. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our grade, our color grade selected, and we're going to hit Alt L in DaVinci Resolve. And what that's going to do is create a layer node. So if you look at our chain here, what you'll see is here is our first node, our second, third, and fourth. And then after our fourth node, we actually split into two separate nodes. So we have our color grade on one side, and on the other side, we have a new layer that is going to sit on top of our color grade. So if I turn this layer off, you can see the color grade turning back on and off. But what's really happening is this node is creating a new image that sits on top of the color grade. And we're gonna use this to preserve our skin tones. So with the layer node selected, I'm just gonna label that skin for our skin tones. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create this node to only see skin tones. And I'm going to do that by using the eyedropper tool. I'm going to select some of our skin tones. And you can see right away, it sits the skin tones on top of the image. And so if I turn this on and off, the color grade is affecting the skin tones. And when I turn it on, the color grade is no longer affecting the skin tones because we have a new layer of skin tone sitting on top of our image. So obviously this isn't quite right, we need to dial it in. And so with the skin tones node selected, I'm gonna hit Shift H, and it's gonna show me only what I have highlighted. So now I'm gonna do some adjusting to try to capture as much of the skin tones as I can without capturing anything else. So one interesting thing about this shot is the shirt that I was wearing is actually really close to um, the same registry as skin tones would be. So I really have to dial these settings in to try to get rid of as much of my shirt as I can while preserving all of my skin tones. 
So you can spend as much time tweaking this as you would like to. Um, once you're happy with what you have selected, you can hit Shift H and it'll show you both layers again. Um, so let's just turn the skin tone layer on and off and you can kind of see what it's doing right now. So with it off, the color grade is affecting everything. We turn the skin tone layer back on and the skin tones are back to their natural state. So right now this is really exaggerated. We don't want the skin tone layer to be at 100%. So with the skin tone layer selected, I'm going to go to my output and bring it down all the way to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gain and I'm going to drag it up until I'm happy with how much of the skin tone is sitting on top of the color grade. So now let's turn the skin tone layer on and off so you can see just how much it's working. With the intensity brought down, you still get the effect of the color grade, but your skin tones just aren't quite as affected by it. And so I think it really still gives you a natural look. It doesn't look fake or artificial, but at the same time, you're not losing all of your skin tones to the color grade. So what's really cool is now that you have the skin tone layer sitting on top of your color grade, we can go back to the color grade and adjust this color and get some different kinds of looks to our image while keeping the skin tones, you know, somewhat preserved. So let's pull it over now to like a, a teal blue color. So now you've got the same thing. If I turn the skin tone layer on and off, so you lose skin tones completely. Um, they're, they're totally washed out by the blue and you turn the skin tone layer back on and you have them preserved. So this is probably too strong. So we can turn the intensity down on the skin tone layer. And now you get a really natural skin tone with a blue background. And you can play with this as much as you want. You can push it, let's say we push it to the other side. Now when I turn that skin tone on and off, instead of pulling the skin tones away from the blue, now when it's off, it's too orange. So now we're gonna pull them back towards the center. And so you still get a very natural skin tone. So no matter what color you push the color grade to, you can keep these natural looking skin tones. So I'm gonna pull the color grade back down to kind of the green teal look. And let's say that we wanted to take our color grade one step further, but now we wanna color grade the overall image and not leave the skin tones unaffected. So what we would do from here is we would select the layer tab and hit Alt S, and that's going to create another serial node. But now it's going to, if you look at the chain, it splits here, it reconnects at the center, and now we have another node for a color grade that is going to affect everything in the same way, not leaving the skin tones untouched. So now we can take this color grade, and let's say that we wanted to add a fade to it, maybe pull things a little bit more towards the blue. And now if I turn this layer on and off, you can see it's affecting everything at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can like it, you can leave a comment. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.